Hardy herbaceous perennials make a fantastic display in summer and they're great value for money too, getting bigger and better each year. Planting a border is really simple, but it does pay to give it a little bit of thought beforehand to ensure that the plants look great in the coming years. The first step is to assess your chosen site. Now, hardy perennials all have their own little characters. Some like blazing sun and dry soil, while others prefer a damp, shady spot. Now, it's always tempting to buy plants based on their appearance, but it pays to show some restraint and just select the ones that you know will grow well in the conditions that you can provide. This border gets plenty of sun and the soil is well drained and fertile, so I've had a really wide range of plants to choose from. Try to select a range of plants that have varying heights. You'll need some taller plants, like this foxglove, that can be positioned towards the back of the border, while lower growing plants, like dianthus, will sit nicely at the front. In between, you can put mid-height perennials, like scabious and penstemon, and this will help to give the border a nice structure and ensure that all of your plants are visible. The next step is to prepare the border. I've already dug over the soil and mixed in some well-rotted manure. This will help to improve the structure and fertility of the soil, as well as getting the plants off to a good start and feeding them as they grow. Before you start planting, always lay your plants out first. Try to imagine how big they'll get in future years and make sure that you give them enough space to grow. It's a good idea to position plants in groups of three of the same kind to give the appearance of a larger clump. It's not essential, but it does look better than dotting them about randomly. If you have plenty of one type, then repetition of these groups will add symmetry to your border design. Once you're happy with their positions, then you can start to plant them. It's a good idea to loosen up the root ball a little bit before you put them in the ground, as this will help them to establish. And always plant them at the same depth that they were when they were in the pot. Don't forget to water them in afterwards. You'll need to keep watering them until their roots have grown and they're capable of finding their own water. But once established, these plants will fill this border with summer colour year after year.